Hi guys, are you ready for some math today? Um, there is no application problem today, so we don't have to do that. So I thought we would start this morning, or today, whenever, whatever time it is for you, and we would start with doing some practice using the vertical method. And it seems like it's been a long time for Mrs. Boffman to get your math brain working. So I thought, um, here we go. So I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil. You're gonna need that today for math. And if you happen to have a ruler at home or something um, that you can use for a ruler, like a, a index card might be something that you can use or something that um, has a nice straight edge to it would be great. So if you wanna stop and go gather some stuff for math, go ahead and get it. You're gonna need a piece of paper, you're gonna need pencil, and you're gonna either need a ruler or something that has a nice straight edge that you can draw some lines with today. So go ahead and collect your materials and then come on back. I'll be right here. Um, good, you got all your stuff? So now what I want you to do is write down the problem, 167 plus 47. And do you remember that Mrs. Boffman told you that you need to line up your numbers? And I've lined up mine nice and straight. I've written mine nice and big so that you can see them. Now we're gonna go ahead, and if you remember, we always start over here at the ones place. And I'm looking and I see right away that we are adding. So I'm gonna um, start over, I'm gonna go back to the ones. Seven plus seven, and I've been doing my um, sprints and I've been practicing my math facts, so I know that that is 14. I put down the four, I carry over the 10. And I rest it on the line so that you can see it. 660 plus 40 would be 100 plus 10 more would be 110. So I put down the zero and I carry back over the 100. And then I have 100 plus 100 is 204. Do you guys remember how to do that? Okay, why don't we, at this time, I'm gonna write another one for you. I want you to do 285 plus 38. Go ahead and I want you to solve that one on your own. And then I want you to come back and you and I can check it together. Why don't you stop the recording, go ahead, solve the problem, and then come on back. Okay, are y'all finished? Good, let's give it a try. And remember, I'm starting all the way over here at the ones place. That's really important because if I, I have to move over and carry over my um, tens or hundreds, so let's check. Five plus eight is 13. I put down the three, I carry over the 10. 80 plus 30 is 110 plus one is 111. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 111 plus one is 112. Boy, Mrs. Boffman needs her math brain on. And then we have 200 plus 100 is 323. Okay, I'm gonna turn my paper kind of crazy and I want you to do one more problem. Give it a try. I don't have a lot of room. It's not very nice and neat either, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. Go ahead and solve that one. And then this time, what I want you to do is I want you to share your answer with somebody in your home and tell them how you solved it. And then come on back and we will do one last check. There, I tried to make my paper a little neater. Okay, seven plus four is 11. We have nine, 10, 11, and we have 411 would be our final answer. How'd you do with those? 
Have you been doing, I don't, you know, I don't know if we always do enough practice. So please make sure you are doing your sprints. Please make sure that you are um, practicing your math facts because um, remember, you are just about third graders and you will start with multiplication and division facts when you head over to third grade. So be ready for that. Okay, um, so here we go. We have been talking about these um, polygons and we're gonna continue that today, although we're gonna learn how to draw some of them. And so again, what I am, I'm gonna ask you to go gather some things. Um, you're gonna need a piece of paper, a white plain piece of paper. I'm recycling one, so I'm actually gonna use two. And I want you to fold it in half and fold it in half. Make yourself four boxes. So we have that to do some drawing in a little bit. You can set it aside for now. And then you're gonna need a pencil. And remember, you're going to need a ruler. And then I'm gonna start, um, and if mom has one of these, what we call an index card laying around the house, go ahead and grab that too, because I'm gonna show you how to use it. Um, I can also show you how to use your ruler in case you don't have one of these. Um, just for um, tools, a post-it note would work also. So I can show you how to use all of these things. And we're gonna talk about, um, I'm gonna start here today with this index card. And um, I want you to take a look at it. And I want you to um, turn and tell somebody at your home how many sides and how many angles does it have. Okay, let's see. We have one side, two side, three sides, four sides. And then I have one, two, three, four angles. And so what would I call a a um, shape that has four sides and four angles. Well, I would call that a quadrilateral. And I know a lot of you wanna um, tell me that it's a rectangle. And I guess you're correct, but we're using the word quadrilateral because um, we're talking about shapes that have four sides and four angles. And a rectangle would be a quadrilateral and a square would be this shape. Right here, my post-it notes would be also a quadrilateral because they have four sides and four um, angles. But um, we're not just gonna say rectangle and square, we're gonna call them a quadrilateral because they have four, okay? So what we're gonna do here today is we're not gonna also notice something that um, we're gonna talk about something that is called a square corner. This would be a square corner in my index um, card here. And it is um, one way that we measure different angles. We say they have a square corner. And we're gonna do some, um, see, we're gonna measure, and that's why we're gonna use this. So if I take my, chart of triangles. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set up and see if I have any angles that are square. And what I mean by that is that this side rests here and the point goes into the point, but then the other side would rest on this side. So do you think that this triangle has a square corner here? I would say no, because it doesn't rest. But if I were to go ahead and take my quadrilaterals, my sore for some of these, I could measure up and look at this. I see in this shape that I have a square corner. Both sides match. And then I can measure it here. I can place this in the corner and I see this is a square corner. And then I can measure here and see this is a square corner and do the same thing here. So when I put this corner and I rest it inside a um, polygon, if it matches up like that, I know that this is a square corner, okay? 
So I am looking to see, and I'm going to be measuring some of my shapes to see which one of these, like these all have four square corners right here. So then I'm going to take a look here, and I, I'm, I try to nestle this in here, and I'm noticing that this shape does not have a square corner at all. And if I move this, I'm noticing this is a straight edge, but this one, if you see this here, that one is not. And then if I try this, well, neither one of these works. Okay, so this one does not have any square corners. So then I'm gonna take my index card over here and I'm gonna match it up and I'm gonna look to see if I have any square corners here. I don't have one there and I don't have one here and I don't have one here. So I don't have any square corners here. Do I have any here? Well, I have one here, not yet, okay? But I do up here. So here I have four square corners. And I'm going to, oops, I'm sorry, boys and girls, I got that out of the camera. So here in my, um, quadrilateral, I have four square corners that match up. And these do not have, I don't have any square corners here, but I do here. So this, and I can make quadrilaterals that do have square corners. And we're going to practice that here in a minute. Okay. So um, we're also going to talk, I'm going to teach you a different word here. Um, called parallel. And that's how we're going to kind of get started. So you're going to need your piece of paper. And Mrs. Boffman is going to use her ruler. And I'm going to use my ruler because it's because I have one. If you don't have a ruler with you, go um, feel free to like I said, you can use an index card. You can even use a pack of post-it notes to help you draw some lines. Um, but we're going to practice making some um, quadrilaterals, and then we're going to match. We're going to see if we have any square corners in our quadrilateral. So I'm going to start mine here, and I'm going to draw a line. And then I'm going to draw another line. And you do not have to make my shape, but you have to have one that has four um, corners and four sides. So let's see if I can do that one. So let's count to make sure Mrs. Boffman is right. I have one, two, three, four, and I have one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure. I'm going to see how many square corners I have. Well, I have one right here. That's a nice square corner Mrs. Boffman made. Oh, I made another one over here. And this one... Up here is not a square corner. So I have two square corners that are part of my um, angles. And here's an interesting thing. I want to show you something. I also have made, by doing that, I have some special kinds of lines in this shape. And I'm going to teach you a special word. And I'm going to do this so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm extending, I'm pretending that I'm extending my line. And I'm pretending that this line and would go on and on and on forever and ever. And if I continue to draw that line, did you notice that they don't cross, that they go straight off of each other? Well, this has a special word. And these two sides right here are called 
parallel And parallel means that they are never going to cross. That the lines are going to go on and on forever and they're not going to cross. Now, if I were to, and, and these two sides will do that, but if you watch, if I were to, oops, I'm sorry guys, I'm not so good with this camera some days. If I were to continue this, and if I were to continue this, these would cross. So these two sides right here would not be parallel because they'll cross. Parallel means that they do not cross. And so you can make quadrilaterals that have, we can make shapes, we can make polycons that have parallel sides. Parallel means two. We can't just have one that's parallel. That would just be a side. But we're talking about two sides that will not cross when we say the word parallel. Okay? So we have made a four-sided figure here. And I'm going to teach you a different word. And I'm going to make this um, shape, it's going to have two sets of um, parallel lines. And watch how I'm going to do this. I'm going to start this one here, and I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to take my ruler like this. And like this. Now, Mrs. Boffman has made a quadrilateral, and this one is called a parallelogram. And a parallelogram has two sets of sides that will not, oh, I'm sorry, boys and girls. This is kind of jerky for Mrs. Boffman today. I gotta get my arms in here to draw. They have two sides that will not cross. They would never cross. These two going out like this, and then this one going out like this, will not cross, okay? So boys and girls, what I'd love for you to do is take your white piece of paper. Can you draw me a parallelogram and remember that means it's going to have two sides that are parallel it's going to so it's going to have these two sides are going to be par par parallel and these two sides are can you practice drawing one of those please give it a try it's a little tricky you're going to have to be patient but go ahead and give that a try. Okay. If you need to, you can turn off and take an extra time to do it. And remember, parallel means I'm not crossing. Okay, so how'd you do with that? Is it a little bit tricky? Okay, so we're gonna be doing um, so we're gonna move on, and we're gonna talk about a couple of different shapes here. We're gonna draw another quadrilateral, and this time we're going to um, draw, let's see if you, let's see if Mrs. Bothman can trick you or show you how to do this. So I'm gonna start up here, and I'm gonna do this. Oops, I'm running out of space. Let me see if I can do this. So if I, I might run out of space. 
So can you tell me, if you look at this, now my, how many, um, how many square corners do I have? And the way that I'm gonna go ahead and check that is I'm gonna set this up here. Do I have one there? No. Do I have one here? No. Do I have one here? No. Do I have one here? No. But what is something that you notice? Well, Mrs. Boffman notices that my sides are the same length, both on the side and the top and bottom. So this, and I can prove that because I can make these go out and out and they're not going to cross. This quadrilateral is called a rhombus. These are equal in length. Okay. Now, I think you know this one. If I were to do this, oops, sorry guys. What would you call this quadrilateral? This would be our rectangle. Did you know that? I bet you did. And this one, if I go ahead, I have one square corner, two square corners, three square corners, four square corners. I have two sets, just like with the rhombus. I also have two sets of parallel um, lines, okay? And the last one, this one I want you to go ahead and draw me. Can you... Um, Draw me a square, and we're not making a rhombus this time. You're going to make a square. Can you go ahead and do that? And then why don't you go ahead and use your square corner and see if you can um, find the square corners in your square shape. Oh, Mrs. Boffman, mine, I have to draw um, another line here. I'm sorry, boys and girls. Okay, so this line doesn't count. This one does. This would be my square. It has one, two, three, four square corners, okay? And my the lengths of my lines are the same length in a square. The rhombus and our um, rectangle and our square, remember, are all quadrilaterals as well. So you might be asked today to draw a quadrilateral and you could draw any of these. If I'm drawing a parallelogram, I need to make sure that my sides are parallel, and you might be asked to do that today. You're gonna to be asked um, and need to use your ruler. Um, you may need you know, a straight edge of some sort in your problem set, and you're gonna need some patience today. So be, take a big deep breath, <sighs> say I can do it, and go ahead, please make sure it's important when we're doing um, this work that we do it nice and neatly. So if your pencil has a really flat point, maybe it's a good day to go ahead and sharpen up your pencil too. Um, okay guys, you are gonna go ahead and do your problem set here today. Um, remember parallel means it's not gonna cross. Quadrilaterals have four sides and a parallelogram has two sets of sides that are parallel today. Um, hope you had some fun. Um, remember to finish up your problem set and don't forget to practice some math facts and I will see you guys tomorrow.